Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. If you are new, then subscribe to this channel because on this channel, I share ideas, insight, tools and tactics that can help you grow in the software industry. So if you want to grow really, really fast in the software industry, then subscribe to this channel now and press the bell icon so that you will know when I go live on this channel. Shake, sir, full stack ke liye front end me HTML CSS JavaScript pura <coughs> jana hota hai ya uh, standalone knowledge bhi kaam karega. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to translate because this channel is in English. I'm going to translate. So in full stack development, do you just need to know uh, front-end development using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, okay? You just uh, know this or you also need some more knowledge, okay? So what I would say, Abhishek, is this. See, every programmer, every programmer needs to know at least one programming language, okay? When, you, when we say programming language, if you are into web development, then you might know uh, JavaScript okay, as a programming language or you might know Java or Python or PHP. Okay, there, there is Ruby on Rails. There are several uh, programming languages in which you can, there is also Golang. So there are several programming languages, but you need to know at least one programming language. Okay, now you need to know this programming language really well. Now, when you say full stack software developer, that means that you know front end coding really well. Front end coding means using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you are able to build a web application. Okay. But you also need to know back end coding. What is back end coding? Back end coding is the coding where your, your front end code is interacting with, a, with the database somewhere which is on a server okay which is not on the same machine it is on some different machine somewhere in the world and it is connected through internet correct so there has to be a back-end code which interacts with this database or which interacts with some code which is on some server somewhere in the world and it is going to uh, connect with this front end whatever design you have made whatever application for example let us say you build an application in which you are using APIs. APIs means application programming interface of some totally different company. For example, I'm building an application uh, which will work on Amazon APIs. So Amazon, you know, is a retail store. Okay, and Amazon has all these products and there is a selling and um, all, all these things going on, right? But Amazon gives uh, uh, a programmer access to its API which can interact with whatever is happening in the Amazon server or Netflix has its own APIs. So if somebody wants to just create a website from where it will direct to Netflix, they can create their own website or they can create their own app which will connect to the Netflix app. Okay. So you need to know the front end uh, development. You need to know the back end development. And very important, you need to know uh, database development. You should be able to build a database and connect with a database, interact with a database. Okay. And there are several stack stacks in front end. For example, when you are, you're taking the example of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, there are two very popular stacks, MERN and MEAN. Okay. MERN stands for uh, MongoDB, Express, JavaScript, uh, React, and Node.js. Okay. This is called as the MERN stack. And this MERN stack, before that, there was a mean stack. And mean stands for MongoDB, which is a database. Okay. Express Java, JavaScript, which is a uh, tool for developing all these uh, backend code. Okay. Then you have in between, you have the Angular JavaScript. A stands for Angular. Okay. So Angular JavaScript is for writing the front end code. So there will be libraries which you'll be able to use to write this front end code. And then there is Node JavaScript, which I said, which connects with the server. 
okay so you will have a node javascript which is interact with this server and use the power of this server okay so front end dev developer means that you will full stack developer means you will have to understand this full stack of technologies okay it is not easy to become a full stack developer that is the reason the salary of a full stack developer is very high okay the salary of a full stack developer is about 6 to 7 lakhs per annum in the beginning right in the beginning most product companies will give a full stack developer salary starting with 6 to 7 lakhs per annum okay in india so uh, it is it's not just that you know javascript and you know writing code in javascript means you are a full stack developer no when you know these stacks when you know either mean or mern or lamp lamp stands for php stack okay which which is linux uh, i think mysql php and i don't know what a stands for but that is a lamp stack there is a lamp stack oh yes a stands for apache so there is linux apache uh, mysql and php that is a lamp stack you can be a full stack developer with a lamp stack or there is a lamp stack which is uh, linux express uh, express javascript uh, php and uh, mysql which is the lamp stack okay so all these stacks what they do is they help you to build a complete software application right from design to development to everything to to uh, configuring the application to um, you know building the application everything Th this particular stacks will help you to do that it is a way to organize your code in such a way that all these these you can call these different tools and technologies which come together to build one web application okay so you have to understand this about a web application in a web application there are many components which are working there is the internet so you have this component where you need to be able to you know send data across the internet and uh, and receive data from the internet okay then there is a server which is installed somewhere in the world which you have to be able to inter interact with okay now there is a server code because that server code is actually making the machine do various things okay about sending messages receiving messages and organizing all the websites um, or you know at runtime uh, creating a html uh, html code all this is done by the server server side coding okay so all these things okay these are tools and technologies which come together and which if you know then you become a full stack developer okay it is not easy but um, it it is not impossible also okay what you have to understand is if you don't have any idea about full stack development you don't have any idea about any of these stacks then it is better to go and do some kind of a web development course which covers at least one stack if you know one stack then learning other stacks is easy okay learning other stacks is easy i would say you learn just one programming language and join some company as a normal software programmer which can be a product company which is into web development and all and then there you will find that you can start learning either you join as a front end developer and then learn back end and other things and then become a full stack developer okay so you will have to do this step by step i hope abhishek this answers your question i hope that uh, you understand full stack development really well and uh, i hope that you are able to uh, get advantage see it it can take around uh, six months to a year to become a really good full stack developer okay really good full stack developer. i'm saying really good i'm not talking about an average developer don't become an average software developer it is of no use if you have not yet subscribed to this channel then subscribe because on this channel i share ideas inside tools and tactics that will help you grow so subscribe now and press the bell icon also share this channel with all of your friends i do this live every thursday thank you very much see you in the next live